friends normally when we say there is a sale you assume that the seller gave possession of these goods to buyer you will assume that seller gave an invoice or basically a document indicating that i sold it to so and so seller would have given that document and what is the third condition the buyer would have made payment to seller normally these three things you assume delivery ownership document and payment so these are the three things which normally you have whenever there is a transaction of sale correct or not but listen accounting standard talks about something fantastic you may or may not have these three things still it can be considered as transfer of risk and reward what do i mean by that first point delivery we spoke about it even though in that rice example the goods were still not delivered to the buyer they were still in the shop still we said risk and reward is transferred still we said it is a revenue for the seller so friends delivery is not always a condition now let's talk about another interesting case you went to a shop and uh, that shop sells acs tvs and all of that say you went to buy a sony television that shopkeeper said hey there is a new brand which has come to the market and you should try that it's probably priced at half the price of what sony sells a tv at something like this and you said hey listen it's a new brand i don't want to risk it the shopkeeper said sir we'll do one thing we will bring this tv and install at your home check it for one week if you like it use it continue otherwise we will take it back in one week just you ensure that in one week you are communicating to me about your decision that's all so shopkeeper said that's it you can install we'll install this tv for you and you are like that's interesting i have nothing to lose if i like the tv in one week maybe i might just get a benefit i mean get a benefit of buying something at half the price so he said fine go ahead installing it now listen carefully tv came shopkeeper's person came and installed at your home you see the tv when you see the tv do you today feel it is your tv think about it today do you feel it is your tv delivery is with you so the uh, the goods already got delivered to that the, the, uh, the particular person but do you feel as a customer that it is your tv you will still feel it is something which is not yet yours you get a call you are actually traveling you get a call there is some short circuit tv blasted now you are not worried about it because you are saying hey that's not my tv and anyway. the shopkeeper will come and take that back you are not really worried about it friends think about it see that is what i mean by transfer of risk and reward you don't feel the pain of it when something happens to that because you don't feel it is yours you understand that so that is what i mean by risk and reward transfer so you are like i'm not worried that's the shopkeeper's problem now if one week is over and you confirm the the you are the customer the one you bought so it's you you confirm to the shopkeeper that i like the tv now i want to keep the tv with me then at that moment does the shopkeeper feel <sighs> sale is made yes or no correct because till that time the shopkeeper was not sure about it but the moment you call and confirm shopkeeper feels that sale is made from that moment you also feel it is your tv because till now you had an option accept it or don't accept it but now that option is not there you confirmed and now this uh, the tv becomes yours now imagine you didn't call at the shopkeeper one week is over 10 days over 15 days over time is just absolutely what you didn't call the shopkeeper what will the shopkeeper assume automatically the time for rejection is over so it is deemed as acceptance so we gave a, the shopkeeper gave a one week time for rejecting it but you said fine i like it so i'm just keeping keeping with me and you have not rejected it within one week one week's time so if the time to reject is expired then shopkeeper can shopkeeper can say fine so now i can consider it as sale or look at another case you bought the tv today in two days time your friend came home saw the tv and said i'm taking this tv away you tell me how much amount i have to pay i'll pay i like it no questions asked i'm taking this away because that's the problem with friends so they just have so much of freedom with us that they can come take things away and say i'll give you money later now look at this situation you haven't bought it yet but your friend came and took the tv away the tv was with you and your friend took it away 
shopkeeper calls you after one week tell me is it considered as sale or not from shopkeeper's point of view definitely sale so even though you did not formally communicate any uh, thing like i bought it from you to the shopkeeper shopkeeper sales the action of you allowing your friend to take it away means that you accepted it so this is called as deemed acceptance so here there is a deemed acceptance so that is also called as sale so friends basically in a case like this as you see delivery of goods is not necessarily linked to the transfer of risk and reward delivery happened immediately but risk and reward that sale actually happened probably much later all right so now you understood that generally delivery of goods is an important condition we look for but it is not always necessary that transfer of risk and reward is linked to delivery so it may not necessarily be linked to delivery right okay right move to the next one if there is no ownership document made can we still call it as sale is a question on 31st march you went to your friend's shop your friend sells tvs you went to your friend's shop you liked the tv you said i am buying that tv and you got that home your friend said hey today i am busy i'll give you invoice on second you said fine you didn't even make payment your friend said invoice will come to you on second you're okay with that on 31st march when you get that home do you feel it is yours think about it do you feel it is yours or not yes right so that tv is yours so transfer of risk and reward happened even though ownership document is not yet prepared so that ownership document preparation seems more like a formality you get that right on 31st march say some something unfortunate happens the tv after you bring it home a child at home pulls the tv down breaks that can you call up the shopkeeper and say take the tv back it's not mine you didn't even create an invoice you i didn't even make payment to you it is your tv take it back will it work it will not work you understand that so friends the best way to answer this question as to whether risk and reward is transferred or not is put your hand on heart and ask yourself is that asset mine or not now similarly the seller will ask do i think that it is still mine or do i feel that it is already transferred so you are, you will actually get that honest answer as to whether the risk and reward is transferred or not transferred so you have a framework for it accounting and it gives a framework for it but the point is the easiest way to know whether risk and reward is transferred or not is you being honest to yourself and asking you this question i put myself in this place what do i feel is the risk and reward transferred or not transferred then we spoke about payment payment also normally is a thing which will happen when sale happens but friends it's not always necessary maybe it's a credit sale so that credit sale also will be considered as sale and uh, even though payment may come after 3 months 6 months or 2 months or whatever the time credit period be still we can consider it as sales so payment is not always linked to revenue recognition friends transfer of property in an asset can be at a different time transfer of risk and reward incidental to ownership can be at a different time so when we talk about transfer of property this probably may have to be this has to be more legal so actually the ownership has to be transferred but risk and reward transfer is not always linked to transfer of ownership so this might be done sooner or later and we took a few examples we will discuss a few more examples towards the later part of the part of the standard let's now take a few more examples i know that you'll enjoy examples more than all this theory of standard and trust me so you actually learn and enjoy the standard more when you see more and more cases right say you went to a rice shop you selected certain variety of rice you wanted 50 kg but the shopkeeper says hey i don't have 50 kg right now i have only 2 kg but wait if you give me 2 hours time i'll get you those 50 kg of rice right now you said sure please get and you even paid money you were supposed to pay some 1000 rupees you even paid that 1000 rupees so money is paid shopkeeper created an invoice for you invoice is also created so money paid invoice created goods don't exist today are the goods in the deliverable state no they are not in the deliverable state so they are not yet with the shopkeeper uh, so they can't be uh, they are not in the deliverable state 
shopkeeper now called up some wholesaler and said send those goods those goods were coming from the wholesaler to the shopkeeper in the transit some accident occurred can the shopkeeper say your goods are lost sorry you lost money can the shopkeeper say that no why goods were not made available to the buyer in a deliverable state so risk and reward cannot be considered to be transferred unless goods are made available in a deliverable state you get that so who is responsible for it shopkeeper so who should, you know now invoice is already made return money that's all so payment made invoice made return money so shopkeeper cannot run away from that responsibility because risk and reward is not yet transferred so after invoice is generated after money is collected still we are saying revenue cannot be recognized this is not revenue this is not revenue at all because the goods are not yet in the deliverable state right now let us slightly change the example let us align it with something that we already discussed that bag is already there you already made payment you received the invoice and you said you are a customer you said hey shopkeeper keep these goods with you i'll go buy something else and come back and take it now something happened to this the delivery is delayed at buyer's request correct or not here the buyer is delaying delivery even though goods are ready in their deliverable form then can we say that risk and reward is transferred yes then the risk and reward is considered to have been transferred if something happens to the bag which is already in the deliverable state you could have just taken it you said uh, no i'll not take it now i'll come back and take it after half an hour so if the delivery is delayed at buyer's request well then risk and reward is pretty much considered to have been transferred 